Today, authorities confirmed a woman's body recovered from marsh near the JTB area is that of a missing Jacksonville Beach woman. 35-year-old Suzanne Carlson was reported missing by her boyfriend to authorities last Thursday. First Coast News reporter Bethany Anderson has done some digging into the story today, and people are wondering if this is foul play, or do we know yet how she died, Bethany? No, I mean, they really didn't give us too much information. Not earlier today. All they said was that they identified her body, but no other details. We did learn some new information about their ongoing investigation after pulling records this afternoon. In this welfare report from December 4th, someone calls police after Suzanne Carlson doesn't show up to work for two days. The report states Suzanne was supposed to get married soon, but the groom canceled those plans last minute and that her fiancé could be Jacksonville resident James Pontel. Authorities contact Pontel, who is her emergency contact. He says he hasn't seen or heard from her at the time. But within 20 minutes of the call being made to police, they are able to locate Suzanne. Now to last Thursday when she was reported missing. The call is documented just before 8 p.m. The missing person reported is filed by Suzanne's believed fiancé or boyfriend, James Pontel. In his report, Pontel states he hasn't seen or spoken to his girlfriend in 24 hours. He says that's out of character for her and tells authorities that when he shows up to her house, the front door is unlocked, the garage door is open, two screen doors are open, her car and her car keys are left behind, and her shower is running. He tells authorities that she lives alone, but he also has keys to the house. At the time, authorities tried calling Suzanne and finding her location by pinging her cell phone. They last see Suzanne's location at 5 a.m. that morning, within 25 meters near her home. The report says she's new to the area, so there are no family or friends nearby that she could be visiting. As for Suzanne's boyfriend, James Pontel, the report states he's a towboat captain at McAllister Towing. We reached out to Pontel and his employer today with no response. Reporting live in production, Bethany Anderson, First Coast News, on your side.